stodgy, static sort of IT department, and you say, we're moving to the cloud. I mean, what kind of pushback did you get from you know, agency heads who whomever was ultimately responsible for implementing these things? So the analogy I use is um, the government is very much like the human body. And what I mean by that is uh, uh, most government employees will represent white blood cells. And just like your body, if there's a foreign agent in terms of change, like a virus, the white blood cells just attack, right? Whether it's good or bad doesn't matter. Uh, so there's a lot of resistance to change. Um, and part of it was recognizing that there was this culture of uh, faceless accountability. And secondly, you had a lot of uh, doctor no CIOs who would basically say no to uh, innovation or new technologies because they wanted to do this whole study, hire an army of consultants, uh, not recognizing that we're wasting billions of dollars and frankly, the technology gap between consumer technology and public sector technology continued to grow. Um, the way we were able to go after that was uh, focus number one on the spending cuts that needed to be made in a tough economic climate. Number two was recognizing that the shift to cloud, frankly, in my view, is sort of old news. It's very much like the debates um, in the public sector and the private sector we were having around um, email, around websites, and around customer self-service if you go back to the mid-90s. What happened is most people would say, well, should we move to email? What are we going to do in terms of storage and privacy? What about websites? Who's going to be the web editor? How are we going to manage this change? What about customer self-service? Boardrooms around the country were used to taking orders on the phone and then uh, passing them on to their logistics um, systems. So all those changes happened, whether it was with Amazon and Southwest that uh, ushered in an era of customer self-service or governments that ended up moving in that direction. I think with cloud, we made that argument, saw the benefits, and uh, more importantly, shifted capital and resources um, to higher value work in the public sector. All right, so, so, so you came to the, the White House from the District of Columbia. Um, what's the difference between, I mean, 